Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 79, Nasdaq's up 33, S&P's up 10 and a half. Gold, gold contract up a buck, a 17.40 an ounce. We have silver up two cents, nineteen dollars twenty-one cents an ounce. Platinum up nineteen, eight eighty-four an ounce. Light sweet crude up two twenty at one o four. You get notes and bonds. The ten-year note right now is trading up about twenty ticks, trading down twenty ticks rather, at a price point of where am I? There we go at one seventeen twenty. 30 year off a full point plus 176 at 136.27. We get the uh, 10 year now at 3.09, folks. And just to give you some context, 3.473 has been the high of the last three months. 2.6 has been the low. King dollar. King dollar right now is trading down. Uh, oh my God. Sorry about that. Where? Dollar, dollar, dollar. Where are you? Okay, down 125 at 107, euro is at 101, yen is at uh, 136, and the British pound is uh, trading at 119 to 1 US, 120 to 1 US dollar. We get over and take a look at the S&Ps, folks, and you know, what you have here, it's going to get kind of intriguing because you haven't had the SPY get to the swing point yet. So that would actually be a good case um, for over the weekend that you would actually Monday or Tuesday, you'd be going for these uh, swing highs, you know, because you're going you're gonna to have another contraction of volume. So when you get a contraction of volume, you don't want to test the swing point if you're trying to get the higher price. The swing in the, in the S&P, SPY is uh, 393.16. We hit 390. That's it. And, you know, the volume yesterday was 64 million. We're going to do about 64. But that's the way that you want it if you're basically going to go after a swing. So I suspect... More than likely, the SPY wants to really get up to this 401. 401, you know, is the l gap. That's how that is, seems to be shaken out. If we go take a look at the Qs, the Qs very well could actually get to the next swing point, which is right next to it. The next swing in the Qs goes all the way up to this uh, 314. Right now, you're at 295. The 299.23 is the gap. Uh, but the way that the Qs are trading, this is what the difference is. Now, the Qs actually have volume. We're at 48 million right now. We did 56 yesterday. That means it's going to do more. That means that you actually are going to be pushing into the swing, I suspect, with heavier volume. That's saying it's going to break it, so you're going to go to this next swing up there at that uh, 314 area. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.